Hi everyone, welcome again to another bar class with Becky Jo. I'm Becky Jo, I'm a bar instructor, yoga instructor, Pilates instructor, personal trainer at Baptist Milestone Wellness Center. And today we're gonna do a routine and we're gonna have our mat. We need a sturdy surface or a chair. We need a ball or set of hand weights. Now, if for any reason you don't have a ball, you can have a pillow from the couch or wherever. You can also have a yoga block. Remember, it does not have as much give, so you may not want to squeeze it as hard. And then you could also have a rolled up bath towel, beach towel, anything that's gonna have a little extra give. So again, if you don't have the ball, you can have a pillow, a block, or even a rolled up towel. So you've always got options. And I did a little video the other day. If you don't have hand weights, just remember that a 12 ounce bottle is one pound. Um, a liter bottle is about three pounds. And then a gallon jug is about eight pounds. Now all that means full of water. And if you need to make any of them a little bit heavier, you can also add maybe sand or little pebbles or something like that. And that will make it a little bit heavier. So just remember, if you have any health issues, make sure you consult with your doctor before you start any fitness program. Always do your best, take breaks, grab water anytime you need it, and we're gonna have a great time, so just have fun. We get a little volume here. I need you to give me a little more volume. There you go. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with our feet side by side. Pull the shoulders back, hug your core in tight. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Get ready, we're gonna open and close our feet. Here we go. Open and close, open and close. That's it. Now, add a little softness to the knee. Make sure we're opening from our hip here. So you've got the balls and the feet slightly lifted up off the floor. Good, that's it. Feel that turnout. Open it up. That's it. You got it. Push. Nice. Big breath. Don't forget to put that smile on the face. All right. You know it's Friday. Open. Good. Four more times. Here we go. Feel those hips opening up. Nice job, everyone. Thank you again for joining me. Open it up. Releve. Up to and down to. Now, if you need to reach out and touch your chair or sturdy surface, just reach out and touch it. Light little hand there. Keeping the cord in nice and tight. Lifting tall. Now singles up and down. Lift it up. Now you're always, always going at your pace. So if I'm moving a little too fast, just make sure you slow it down and go where you need to be. Great job. Now up and hold. Hold. Good. That's it. Now if you've got it today, take that right arm up. Here we go. Right arm up. Left arm up. Just hold still. Big breath in. Drop your heels. Hands to the hips. Hold it down. Nice. Stay strong. Feel that outside part of your hip waking up. Shoulders still roll back. Core lifted up and in. Nice core. Brina, we're just going to step out to the right. Here we go. Step out right. Come back. And right. Come back. Good. And right. Come back. Step out. Hold it. Hold. Good. Stay right here. Ah, get ready for a big breath in. Here we go, big breath up. Exhale down, good, big breath up. Exhale down, nice job, up. And down, one more time, up. Hands to the thighs, roll it down. Now cross your right shoulder down towards the floor. Beautiful, feel that long spine. Switch sides, here we go. Perfect. Back through center, roll it all the way up. Eight. Up to the top, big breath. Inhale. Exhale, bring your feet back together, give it a little pulse down. Good, that's it, we've got four. Step out to your left, step it left. Come back and left, that's it. Push it off the floor, hug the floor tight. Good, next time, stay out there, hold it. Good, that's it, how about big breaths right here? Big breath up, and now, nice, and up, and out, keep it going, you got it. Oh yeah, feel that breath in. Hips come down to the thighs, drop it down. Good, now drop that left shoulder down. Yeah, feel that stretch. Do 
good. Now switch sides. Perfect. Back through center. Little pulse. Long spine. Just the tiniest little pulse here. Your knees right over your ankles. Good. That's it. You've got four. Hold it down. Hands to the thighs. Drop your seat just a little lower. Feel that stretch in the glutes. Nice job. Roll up two and down right here. Roll it up two. Flatten it out. Now I'm going to turn to the side. I want you to see this stretch in your spine. Good. So notice the tailbone goes down. The shoulders roll down. Lift it. Good. Now up and hold. Till the tailbone down. Roll your shoulders forward. Chin down towards your chest. Now lift it all the way back out. Uh, drop the tailbone down. Perfect class. Get ready. Let's roll it up. Come on. Roll it all the way up to the top. Beautiful. How about a big breath right here? Inhale up. Exhale out. Nice. Inhale. And exhale. Great job, everyone, on your warm-up. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to grab a little water if you need it. Push these extra props out of the way. We use our sturdy chair here in just a moment. Take the time you need to grab some water. Stay nice and hydrated. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our hand weights or grab the props of your choice. Remember, that 12 ounce water bottle is one pound, that liter bottle is three pounds, and that gallon chug is eight pounds. Now you can find your feet right here in a nice, sturdy position, parallel. You can go heels together, toes apart. You can go hip width. Now, find your feet, arms start here, and we go up, two, three, four, bring it down. Nice and slow, palms are facing forward. Where your feet have landed, your knees are soft. Great work. Let's get that body moving. Let's get it working. Feel those muscles start to begin to work. Yes, push it up. Now, always remember, if your range of motion does not go all the way up, stop where you have to. If you need to stop at your shoulders, stop at your shoulders. That's okay. Just do your best. Good, nice and slow lift. Big breaths in, big breaths out. We're doing great. We're in it together. How about four more nice and slow? Up, two, three, four. Nice. That's it. Feel the core hug in. Feel your breath moving in and out of your body. Good. Out. we got two more right here. You've got this. Up. Oh, yeah. And take it down. Nice. One more time. Lift. Now, we're going to speed it up and change our range of motion. If you want it, up, two, and down. Now, you can shorten your range of motion by not going all the way up or all the way down. Excellent job. And if you want to go even slower, go slower. It's up to you. Just do your best. Find ways to challenge yourself each and every movement. Good. You got it. Come on. Keep it going. Excellent job. One more time and we're going to change the pace again. How about a little single count? Up and down. Now notice my range of motion is much shorter. That's it. Just do your best. Stay nice and strong. And just focus on those shoulders and your core. Beautiful. Push. You're almost there with those shoulders. Push it. Nice and tight. Four more. Four. Get ready. We're going to bring those elbows down close to our waistline. Bring them down. Hold them still. Thumbs are facing up. Uh, take a big breath. Bicep curl up for two. Nice. Nice little hammer curl. So the thumbs are facing up. Elbows slightly away from your waistline on this one. Good. Feel the core hugging tight. Awesome job. Those shoulders are rolled back. Your core in tight. Just do your best here. As much as many as you can. Let's roll with a single right here. Come on. Pull it up. Fullest range of motion that you can get here. Nice job. Stay strong. Focus on doing your best here. Good. Now, half and hold. Squeeze those biceps. Perfect job, class. Now, pump it up right here. Just pump, pump. Tiniest little range of motion. And really feel those biceps engaging. We've got eight. Get ready. We're going to change this movement. 
four, three, hold it still. Now push away and inch and back. So you're not moving all the way out and you're not coming all the way in. So you're staying right in the middle of the movement and the work of the muscle. Good, now pick up your pace. Only if you want it, only if you're feeling it, but challenge yourself. Maybe trying something new today. Eight more counts, eight. Get ready, we're gonna hold. In four, three, bring it in, hold, right here. Now we're getting ready to combo those moves. We're gonna pump the biceps two and push out for two. Here we go, pump it and push it. Yeah, that's it, pump it and push it. Good, and pump it, nice, and push it, that's it. And pump it, and push it, four more, just your best. Good, and push, stay nice and strong. And push, bring it together, pump. And push, one more, pump. And push, pump it up, one minute. Yes, we can, stay nice and strong. Feeling your biceps, maybe a little bit of shoulder from keeping the elbows away from the body. Yeah, feel the shoulders working. Now pump away, here we go, push. Good, just do your best. Always know you can take a break. You can take a break and come back whenever you're ready. We're almost there, stay with it. You've got four, three, now bicep pumps. Here we go, 30 seconds. Big breath in, big breath out. Strong muscles. Yes, we can do hard things. Yes, we can, stay with it. Four, three, now push away, 15 seconds. Breathe, stay strong. We've got a balance to finish this up. We can do it. Get ready, nice and tight. Four, three, half and hold. Now releve up. Now push the arms out a little further, hold it. Four, three, and relax. Give those muscles a big stretch. Awesome job, everyone. Little sip of water if you need it. Way to work, that was fantastic. We're gonna do a little back body work. So we're gonna grab one hand weight after I take this quick sip of water and you can too. Maybe trying something new today with some bar with Becky Jo. Welcome and thank you for tuning in. So we're gonna grab one of our hand weights, leave the other one right down in front of you. Now as long as you're in a parallel position, feet straight ahead, you can be touching, hip width, or even maybe even shoulder width if it's comfortable for you. I prefer mine touching, but be where you need to be today. So we're gonna bend our knees, we're gonna hinge, and the palm is gonna face in. Now, arm's gonna go out to the side for two. Straight out for two, and straight down. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see the posture and the movement. So notice my spine nice and long, my knees bent, my neck in alignment with my spine. Lift it up. And the arm goes no higher than your shoulder here. Beautiful, now add a single if you want it right here. Lift, good. Now, if this is too fast for you, always, always, your pace. Four, now get ready. Two, up and hold, now hold it there. Relax that shoulder, keep that space between your shoulder and your ear. Now, up a little inch, maybe a half an inch. Tiny little movement up. Good, that's it. Stay strong. Now, hug in through the core. Good, now begin to push the feet into the floor and squeeze your glutes. Up and hold, right there. Perfect, you're doing great. Hang in there. Little tiny pulse, and then we finish. Up, good. Just the tiniest little range of motion here. Hug in tight through the core and breathe as deep as you can. Good, here's four, three, hold it up. You've got eight, hang in there, stay strong. Four, three, and lower down. Excellent, shake it out. So, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead and find your feet in that nice parallel position. Remember, touching hip width or shoulder width. We bend, we hinge, roll the shoulders back and down, palm faces in, and we go out for two, right here. Take it out for two, and again, I'm gonna turn, let you see that posture. Out for two, and down for two. Nice long spine, core hugging in tight. Good, knees are soft. 
That's it. Up for two. Now remember that shoulder or that arm no higher than your shoulder. Now up. Single count. Here we go. Up. Good. Now, if you need to slow down, slow down. Come on, lift. Good. Hug your core tight. Go at your pace. Nice job. And lift. Get ready to hold it up there. Stay strong. Up and hold. Lift it up. Good. Hug and tight. Get ready. We're going to lift it up that tiny little bit. Here we go. Up an inch and down. Up an inch and down. Nice. Up an inch. Feel that shoulder. Keep that space between your shoulder and your ear. Nice. Beautiful. Now hold it up right here. Hang in there. We can do it. Tight core. Press your feet down and squeeze your glutes. Now pulse it up. Tiniest little range of motion. That's it. Oh, yes. Eight more. Come on. Eight. Get ready to hold it up there. You're doing great. Four. Three. Hold up. Nice. Eight. Good. Feel those muscles. Four. Three. And relax. Put that weight down. Woo! Great work. Now, we're going to do one last round with both weights. So I want you to do your best. Hang in there. We're almost there. So let's go ahead and grab those hand weights, bending the knees, keeping the head nice and lifted. Bend forward, shoulders back and down, palms face. Out for two. Out, two, and down. Now here, you can alternate your arms right and left if you prefer. Good. One more time. Now alternate, single counts. Here we go. Right, yeah, that's it. Left, no higher than your shoulder here. Now remember, we're keeping our core in nice and tight. We've got our glutes nice and tight, just helping support. Now both arms up and hold right there. Shoulders down and back. Maintain that space between your shoulder and your ears. Up an inch. Do your best here. Maybe find that challenge within. Find that strength. Good. Four. Always know you can take a break if you need it, but dig deep. Up and hold. We're almost there. We're in this together. Hold on. Now, pulse it up. Here we go. Now lift. Oh, yes. Nice and tight. Eight more. Press those feet down. Lift that core up and in. Four. Three. Hold those arms. Now give me a releve. Oh, lift those heels. Arms go a little higher. Four. Three. And relax. My goodness, put those weights down. Give yourself some nice stretches. All right, that was a fantastic job, everyone. Grab a drink of water. We're gonna move our weights out of our space. And then we're gonna bring our ball and our chair, or our sturdy space, or sturdy uh, surface into our space. All right, now remember, if you do not have a ball, you can use a rolled up towel, you can use a yoga block, and you can also use a pillow. So please feel free to grab those household items. Let's go ahead and take that ball, place it in between the thighs, rolled up towel, yoga block, or pillow. Now, we're gonna have our feet parallel. So I want you to try to get your feet as under your uh, hips as you can. Now I'm going to turn to the side. I want you to see we're going to go to, through some releve. We're going to warm up the feet. So hands on the chair or your, or your uh, sturdy space. Up, two, and down. Good. Up, up, and down. That's it. Just roll it up and roll it down. Nice and roll it up and roll it down. Perfect. Now I'm going to turn back front. Good. And roll it up. Now singles. Up and down, up and down, nice job. Stay strong. In four, always your pace here. In two, up and hold, hold, good. Now I'm gonna turn the side again so you can see the posture. So I want you to, from here, bend your knees, tilt your tailbone down, and roll your shoulders back and down. Now you can choose to keep your heels lifted or you can drop them down to the floor anytime. So get ready. 
find your releve, tailbone down, shoulders back, we go down an inch, down an inch and up. That's it, now you're barely moving here. Perfect. Good, just one inch, down and hold. And if you feel like you're moving a lot, you might be and that's okay, maybe try cutting it in half. Let's pulse it down, half an inch. So the teeniest movements that you can get, really getting all that work in your muscle and taking it out of your joint. Now get ready. We're going to do it again, single count, down and up. I'm going to turn back to the front so you can see the front posture. Good. A nice tight squeeze on the ball. Perfect. Excellent work, everyone. Stay strong. Down and hold. Hold. That's it. You've got four. Tiniest little pulse. Here we go. Now remember, you can be flat foot, you can be releve, so you can drop those heels a little bit. You can drop them a lot. And if you're feeling like you need an extra challenge, you can even lift them if you feel like it. Good. Now hold it down. Now we're going to squeeze the ball with your thighs. Squeeze the ball with your thighs. Good. So your hand on your chair or sturdy surface is super light. You don't want to grip it real tight. Good. Now squeeze the ball and hold right there. Perfect. Now remember, you can drop those heels anytime. Now pulse the ball, squeeze. Awesome work, you're doing great, so just hang in there. Eight more, big breaths in, big breaths out. Get ready, we're gonna do a second round with the squeeze of the ball, and we squeeze, perfect. Big breaths in, big breaths out. In four, awesome job. Just know you can take a break anytime you need to. Now squeeze, hold. Maybe grab a sip of water if you need it. Excellent. Now pulse, come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good, you got it. Eight more, eight. Now we're getting ready to combo. We're gonna pulse down two, we're gonna squeeze the ball two. Down, down, squeeze. Super tiny little range of motion here. And down. And squeeze. That's it. Down. And squeeze. Just four more. Down. And squeeze. Now remember, drop those heels anytime. Two more. Down. Squeeze. One more time. We've got this. How about a one minute challenge to finish? Pulse it down. Just do your best. Hug in tight through the core and keep those shoulders rolled back. Excellent. Lifting that body nice and tall. In four. Hold down. Squeeze the ball. Squeeze. Oh, yes. Doing great. Hang in there. Eight more. Eight. That's it. We've got four. Three. Now pulse it down. 30 seconds. Push. Oh, my goodness. Feel those thighs. Eight more. Excellent. Maybe feeling a little shake, a little burn. Yeah. Hold it down. Squeeze the ball. Squeeze. Get ready. We've got our balance. Push. Eight more. Eight. Awesome job, everyone. Stay strong. Squeeze the ball. Outside arm up. Inside arm up. Drop a little lower. Squeeze the ball. And relax. Take that ball out. Woo! Maybe face the bar. Step your feet wide and sit down. Great work. Big stretches. All right. Coming back up. Another sip of water if you need it. We're going to grab that ball again. And we're going to face our chair. Almost at a diagonal. Standing leg is bent. We're going to take the ball put it behind the leg. Now the posture is tall. Bend the knee. Now I want you to squeeze the ball. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Now, if the ball runs around more than twice, it's fire. Just let it go. And just pretend like you still have the ball behind your leg. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze and hold it. Squeeze. Nice and tight, so feel the hamstring, begin to engage. Now pulse it in, squeeze it in, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. Good, keep your body nice and lifted. Your shoulders rolled back. 
Good. You're standing like nice and soft. Get ready. Second round. Squeeze the ball. Squeeze it tight. Cap into your hamstring. Awesome work here. Stay nice and strong. Squeeze. Good. Perfect, everyone. Squeeze. Hold. Now always remember, doing your best, no judgment, and pulse it in. And if you're trying this for your first time today, thank you so much for doing something different for yourself today. And thank you for joining me. Good, and four. Now, squeeze the ball. Now I want you to push your foot back an inch. So it's almost like you're trying to push your foot to the back wall. Press it back. Now you've got a nice squeeze on the ball here. So you're really feeling engagement from the glute. All with your hamstring. Back and hold. Perfect. That's it. Now let's pulse it back right here. Press it back. Press it back. Good. Always, always do your best. Break if you need to. You can always take the ball out and place it over wherever you need to put it. Now push it back an inch. Second round. Good. And push. And push. That's it. Now push it back. Standing leg soft. So you're starting to feel the standing leg and glute. Really working hard here. Back and hold. Body is nice and lifted. Shoulders down and back. Now we pulse it back. Here we go. Now press. Press. Great work here. Now we're getting ready to combo this. So we're going to squeeze the ball too, and we're going to push back for two. Do your best. Get ready. Now here we go. Now squeeze, squeeze, and back. Good, and squeeze, squeeze, and back. That's it. Come on, squeeze, and back. Nice, and squeeze, and back. Keep working. Come on, squeeze, and back. Give me one more here, and squeeze. Standing leg, pulse it down, press. Tiniest little range of motion. We have one minute. Yes, we can. Eight. Get ready for three. Squeeze the ball. Here we go. Squeeze. Oh, yes. Keep that torso lifted. That core tight. Do it so great. Eight. Nice work. Four. Three. Now pulse it down. Press. Awesome job. Push it through. Yes, we can. Eight. Get ready. We're going to push that foot back. Four. Push it back. Yes. Nice and tight. All the way there. You got this. Now, I'm going to have us balance. You can stay with a flat foot if you prefer. Now hold it back. Releve up. Outside arm up. Push the leg back. Four. Three. And relax. Beautiful. Woo, how about those legs? My goodness. Let's give ourselves a little figure four for the hip on each side. And then we're going to press the leg back. Oh. Heel down. Open up that hamstring, that calf right there. All right. So we're going to do that same thing on the other top side. So I'm going to move my chair to the other side. We got this. So we're gonna take that ball, put it behind the leg. Standing leg is bent and soft. Ball squeezing, torso lifted, light hands, and we squeeze the ball. We squeeze the ball. That's it, we squeeze the ball. Perfect. Stay nice and strong. Torso lifted. Now, squeeze the ball, hold. Beautiful, you can put your hands on your chair, your hip, whatever works for you, and squeeze. Now make sure that standing is bent. Good, keep that head nice and lifted, space between your shoulders and ears. Perfect work, everyone. Now squeeze that ball, single. Doing your best all the way through. Just remember, if you need to take a little break, just take it. Stretch it out, come right back. If you need to remove the ball and continue the exercise, remove it, it's okay. Squeeze, hold. Good, breathe as deep as you can. 
Now pulse the ball, squeeze. Good, that's it, shoulders down and back. Eight, more, eight. Now get ready for the second round, you're doing fantastic. Now squeeze that ball again, here we go, now squeeze. Calf to hamstring. Now remember, if that ball runs around more than twice, just let it go, fire it, and then continue the exercise without it. Good, squeeze and hold. Perfect. Make sure that standing leg stays bent or soft. Pulse the ball. Here we go. Squeeze. Tiniest little range of motion here, but keeping that breath nice and deep. Inhales, exhales. Good. Get ready to change the move. In four. Now we're going to squeeze the ball. We're going to push the foot straight back. Press it back. And press it back. Awesome. Now press it back. Stay nice and strong. And press it back. And press it back. You got it. And press it back. Back and hold. Push. Big breath in, big breath out. Stay with it. Now pulse it back. Come on, push. Now really start to feel that standing leg, your standing glute, really supporting you. Keep that knee soft so those muscles are doing the work. Good. Four, three. Now single. Press it back. Come on, push. Just the tiniest little range of motion. Making sure the pelvis is not tilting here. You're squeezing from your glutes. Good work. Press back. And press back. Back and hold. Awesome job. Nice and strong. You're doing great. Now pulse it back. Come on, push. Big breath in, big breath out. Feel all those muscles working so hard together. Yes, now get ready for the combo. We're gonna squeeze two, we're gonna press back two. Hang in there, yes you can. Squeeze, squeeze, back. Good, squeeze, squeeze, back. Shoulders down and back, core tight. That's it, body lifted. Two more. Squeeze, and back. Good, squeeze. Now standing leg, take it down, push one minute. Hang on, hang in. Yes, you can. Eight. In four, three. Now squeeze the ball, here we go. And squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, good. Nice and tight. Eight more, shoulders down and back. You got this, hang on. Four. Now pulse down, big breaths in. Big breaths out. Do your best. We are almost there. Yes, you can. Eight. Good. Go. Four. Now pulse it back. Finish up. Rest. Now we're going to do that balance. You can stay with a flat foot or you can go with a releve with me. Get ready. Woo. You got four. Three. Press back and hold. Releve up. Outside arm up. Hold it. Four, three, and relax. Woo. How about those legs? Again, nice job. Put that ball to the side. Great work. How about we give our legs just a little stretch here? A little figure four for the glutes. Oh, you can hold it as long as you like. That's it. Oh. And a press back, don't worry. At the end of class, we're gonna stretch a whole lot more. Nice work, everyone. All right, I'm gonna move the chair. We're gonna get that out of our way. And how about we come down to the floor? We're gonna finish our abs up here. So gently help yourself down to the floor. Maybe grab a sip of water. Excellent job, everybody. I'm impressed. Uh, all righty. So, I need to move my chair a little more. So we're gonna help ourselves on down to the floor. Hug your knees in. Give yourself a little love. Uh, all right, when you're ready, we're gonna take the right leg out. Give it a little stretch. Good, and we're just gonna switch. All right, so you can keep your head down. Let's point or flex our feet. 
We're gonna go ahead and lift up and lift the bottom leg up. And we're just gonna bike. Here we go, bike, bike. Now, you can keep your head lifted just like this, touching your legs. You can have your hands behind your head, or you can even choose to let your head rest down. Wherever you are, we got eight more. We're gonna hold one leg out, one leg in. Just do your best. Pointer flex your feet. One leg out, one leg in, and hold. Now, if you wanna lift up a little bit, you can. You've got those other options. Now, switch and just hold. Beautiful. Breathe. Now, we're gonna do this again. Now, here we go. Switch right there. Now, remember, you can keep touching here. You can put the hands behind your head, and you can rest your head down. Find where you're gonna be. Now get ready, we're gonna keep that one knee in, one leg out, hold it right here. Lift a little higher if you can. Hug and tight through your core and breathe. Get ready, we're gonna switch and hold. Now if you've got it in you, I know you do. We're gonna do this one more time. Get ready, come on, now reach, reach. Now remember, touch the leg if you like, hands behind the head or lower down. Eight more, point or flex those feet, keep your core nice and tight, get ready, we're gonna hold that one knee in. One knee in, hold, lift a little higher if you've got it. Hug in tight. Four, three, switch and hold, right there, beautiful. You got it, four, three, lower down. Ah, little rock side to side, that was fantastic, everyone. Now, if you like that routine, you can do that again while we progress to a scissor leg. So you've got the choice. You can do the bicycles again, or you can go where I'm about to take you. You're gonna have one leg up, one leg out. Ah, hang tight, just switch, give it a little stretch. Now pointer flex the feet. Good, now go ahead and crunch up if you want it, and we're gonna switch, switch. Now again, you can touch the legs, Hands behind the head, or lie down. Eight more counts, and we're gonna hold one leg up, one leg out. Four, one leg up, one leg out. Ah, oh, lift a little higher if you can. Oh yeah, great job. Switch and hold, use the core. Big breath in, big breath out. Remember, you can have your head down. Now alternate, here we go. Now scissors, now remember you can touch. Hands behind the head or head down. And you can also do the bicycle if you like. Get ready, four, three. Now hold still, reach a little higher. You can always lie down, you can have your hands behind your head. Switch and hold, good, big breath in. All right, I know we've got it in us. Final round. Here we go, let's switch. Push, 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 push. Get ready. In four, three, one leg up, one leg out. Lift a little higher if you've got it. You can always lie down. You can have hands behind your head. Switch, hold. Nice tight core, breathe, that's it. And relax. Beautiful job, everyone. All right, finale is here. Always a good time. So, you can start with your feet down. You can go knees lifted, low back imprint. Legs up, low back imprint. Now you can have hands up, hands behind the head, or maybe give one of each. You've got the choice. Wherever you are, we're just gonna pulse. Right here. Now always know you can have those hands behind your head for that support. Oh yeah, come on, just breathe and reach. That's it, we are almost there. Now remember, you are doing your best here, but this is it, so give it your all. Eight, yes, stay strong, hang in there. We're all in this together, up and hold. Now you can choose to stay here, here, wherever you are, or follow me if you want it. Right arm overhead, left arm overhead. Drop that right leg, drop your left leg to join. Hold eight, squeeze your core as tight as you can. Four, three, and hug in. Uh, begin to rock side to side. And begin to relax. 
Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. Again, I'm Becky Jo. I'm the bar instructor, one of the yoga, yoga instructors, Pilates instructors, personal trainers at Baptist Milestone Wellness Center. And I really appreciate you joining me. Oh, always good to get moving and do a little work. So when you're ready, bring those knees right back to center. Put your left leg down and allow your right leg to go up. Grab behind your hamstring, your calf, your ankle, your foot, and begin to wiggle those toes. And just begin to allow the body to relax and recover. Continue taking big, deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And begin to point and flex your foot. Excellent work. Everyone worked so hard this time. I really appreciate your hard work. Show some gratitude to yourself. Rotate your ankle around. Great job. And the other way. Don't forget the other way. And when you're ready, you're going to take that left ankle, cross it over your right thigh for your supine figure four stretch. Now you can keep your feet down or you can choose to reach up and grab behind your left hamstring and pull your leg gently toward you. Take some big breaths here and just continue to allow yourself to relax. And then when you're ready, gently bring the leg down, uncross and pull your left knee in. And straighten it up, relax, grab behind your hamstring, calf, ankle, foot, or toe, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle those toes. Great job. And point and flex your foot. Oh, and just feel all that goodness happening just by simply moving your foot. And flex the foot and rotate the ankle around. Excellent. And don't forget the other way. Nice and easy. And when you're ready, take that left ankle, cross it over your right thigh. And you can stay put or you can very gently bring that right knee towards you. And give yourself a nice big stretch. Now take a big breath in. We're going to come down and gently put the feet on the floor and take the arms out to the side. Now if spinal twist is not for you, if you've had any back injuries or anything like that, please feel free to just lie still right here and take some nice breaths or some stretches that feel good for you. Otherwise, we're going to gently drop our knees to one side and get a nice little spinal twist. Good. Taking some big breaths in here. And exhaling through center and gently dropping to the other side. And again, make sure you're taking those nice big breaths in and big breaths out. Perfect. Let's come back through center. Pull our knees into our chest for a final big hug of gratitude. And begin to rock and roll yourself to seated. Helping yourself to standing. And let's take some breath together. We deserve it. We worked hard. Let's take a big breath in. And a big breath out. And again, big breath in, big breath out. How about a big hand for you? Thank you so much for joining me. Again, I'm Becky Jo. I'm at Baptist Milestone Wellness Center. I really appreciate you tuning in. I'll be posting more videos. All my Milestone family, I miss you. All my peeps out there that are tuning in for your first time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll have more videos for you soon. Hang in there. Again, we're in it together. This shall too pass and we will be stronger. Thank you again.